Javonta Davis has openly shared numerous reasons for his reluctance to fight Devin Haney. Brace yourself for some thrilling boxing drama as I bring you the scoop firsthand. Devin Haney, having recently claimed the WBC Super Lightweight World title from Regis Progre, made an impactful debut in the 140 pounds division. Tank don't want to fight because uh, if he really wanted to fight, then he would be trying to build up the fight instead of instead of trying to not you know knock it down or you know try to you know say oh I'm only selling because of this or because of that. If he really wanted to fight me, he would you know be making it that you know it's. It's a big fight and, you know, it's the best fight for boxing, but, you know, he uh, he only talked talk down on the fight. But like I said, many times they say everything, but let's fight. Uh, Tank um, and his team have consistently lied uh, to the people. They created this narrative that because you make money or because you charge the people some astronomical money for a fight that you know that the guy is going to lose. Stop letting Tank and his team piss on your head and tell you it's rain with these with these fights, these insignificant fights. You know what I mean? The sand is for the culture. His victory was no easy feat. He managed to knock Progray down in the third round, leaving him visibly shaken. The judges unanimously declared Haney the victor with a score of 120, 107, solidifying his dominance throughout the match. Not only did Haney floor Progray in the third round, but he also delivered a striking blow in the sixth round showcasing his impeccable performance. After this stunning display, Haney's father, Bill Haney, proudly hailed his son as the epitome of boxing greatness while taking a swipe at Gervonta Davis for claiming such recognition for himself. Haney confronted Davis in the aftermath of the prior showdown, hinting at the intense potential clash between Devin Haney and Gervonta Davis. Speculation suggests that their potential matchup appears to be evenly poised, with opinions split right down the middle. Devin Haney, bolstered by his achievements, business acumen, and remarkable technical abilities, has firmly positioned himself on a level that matches or even surpasses Davis. Notably, Bill Haney, Devin's father, has vehemently stated their refusal to succumb to Davis's restrictions on rehydration, and what they perceive as undervalued offers. He expressed, hiding behind Twitter and other excuses is no longer acceptable. Devin asserted himself as the face of boxing while challenging the notion that Davis could claim that title. He elaborated, questioning how Davis could be considered the face of boxing when he avoids answering questions, dodges fights against desired opponents, and boasts about charging exorbitant fees for mismatched fights. Devin questioned, is that the face of boxing? Recent rumors suggest that Davis has been cryptically directing messages toward Haney, fueling speculation. Nevertheless, Haney remains convinced that Davis is reluctant to step into the ring against him. Following his triumph as the WBC super lightweight champion, Haney called out Davis for evading a potential match. While considering future matchups, Haney acknowledged that facing a rival previously defeated by Davis seems more feasible in 2024 than a bout against Davis himself. During his post-fight press conference on Saturday night, Haney cautiously expressed hope for a profitable bout with Ryan Garcia, considering it a potential opportunity. However, when discussing the possibility of facing Davis, Haney conveyed a sense of doubt. He mentioned, Tank doesn't seem interested in fighting because if he truly wanted to, he would work on building up the fight instead of undermining it or making excuses. Despite Haney's readiness to take on Davis, it remains uncertain if Davis will be willing to compromise and accept the eagerly anticipated fight that fans are eagerly awaiting. Devin Haney stated that Tank doesn't seem interested in fighting because if he truly wanted to, he would focus on building up the fight instead of tearing it down. Haney highlighted that if Tank genuinely desired to face him, he would promote it as a significant bout, emphasizing its importance for the sport. However, Haney noted that Tank constantly talks down about the fight, avoiding the actual showdown. Haney reiterated that despite their talk, Tank and his team have misled people by creating a narrative based on financial gains and charging high fees for fights where the outcome is predictable. Haney urged fans not to fall for the false narrative, suggesting that these insignificant fights don't contribute positively to the boxing culture. All right, let's shift focus a bit. Despite Devin Haney's recent announcement, Gervonta Davis seems unfazed by the significance of his WBA belts. 
Currently, the upcoming bout for The Dream is set for an early return to the boxing ring next month against Regis Progre. This marks Haney's debut in the super lightweight category, aiming to secure a title in a second weight division. However, it's worth noting that he won't be holding any gold in the weight class below on fight night. Recently, the undisputed lightweight champion made headlines by deciding to vacate titles. Haney had previously expressed intentions to unify titles, including Davis's WBA lightweight title. Unfortunately, an agreement couldn't be reached between the two fighters. This underlines Gervonta Davis's apparent indifference toward the WBA gold. On social media, Davis reacted to the news of being upgraded to the WBA super lightweight champion, a title he famously won in 2021 with a knockout victory over Mario Barrios. Since then, Davis successfully defended the WBA regular lightweight title on three separate occasions. Devin Haney previously held all the lightweight titles and is now relinquishing multiple titles, not solely the WBA Super Championship. Clearly, this leads to Davis being upgraded to the WBA Super Champion, altering the landscape of the division. Shakur Stevenson already claimed the WBC lightweight title last month by defeating Edwin De Los Santos. As for the IBF title, a match is anticipated early in 2024, potentially involving Vasil Lomachenko against former champion George Cambosos Jr. in Australia. While it's anticipated that this title will be at stake in their matchup, the details are yet to be finalized. LMA and the Emperor are also highly ranked within the WBO and may contend for that title in the near future. Their potential fight could add another dimension to the evolving scenario within the division. However, it's uncertain if this scenario will unfold as rumored. Behind the scenes, whispers within the boxing world suggest a brewing situation. There's speculation that Davis might outwardly appear calm, yet behind the scenes, he's not particularly enthusiastic about the idea of facing Haney. Word on the street implies that Davis has been sending indirect messages akin to subtweeting in the boxing world, seemingly directed at the dream Devin Haney. However, Haney remains skeptical. He's openly calling out Davis for evading the fight, asserting that if Davis genuinely desired the bout, he would be promoting it instead of undermining it. The escalating trash talk seems to be reaching monumental heights. Notably, Bill Haney, Devin's father, is openly criticizing Gervonta Davis. He's essentially calling for an end to hiding behind social media and other tactics. According to Bill Haney, Devin is the face of boxing a statement that seems indisputable. It's not merely about the belts anymore, it's become a battle for the title of the true face of boxing. Bill Haney is casting doubt, questioning how Davis can claim to be the face of boxing while evading difficult questions, avoiding significant fights, and boasting about money in uneven matchups. Verbal jabs are being thrown left and right outside the ring. However, here's the intriguing twist. After securing the WBC super lightweight title, Haney is considering potential matchups, and his perspective on facing Davis might surprise you. Haney hinted that a potential showdown with someone previously defeated by Davis seems more feasible in 2024 than going head-to-head -head directly with Davis. While there's cautious optimism about a profitable fight with Ryan Garcia generating excitement among fans, a sense of skepticism emanates from Haney regarding a matchup with Davis. He's bluntly speaking truths, claiming that Tank doesn't appear keen on the fight as he should be promoting it rather than dismantling its potential. Speaking of the coveted gold belts, Davis's possession of the WBA gold seems to convey a clear message, adding another layer of intrigue to the ongoing narrative. Despite news surfacing that he would be upgraded to the WBA super lightweight champion, Davis expressed his lack of interest, tweeting, I don't want that nonsense aiming to make a statement with his stance. However, an intriguing twist arises with Devin Haney, who recently vacated multiple titles and had aspirations of unifying with Davis for the WBA lightweight title. Unfortunately, no agreement was reached, leaving a void of uncertainty. As Davis prepares to ascend to the WBA super champion status, the entire lightweight division remains in suspense. While Shakur Stevenson holds the WBC lightweight title, the IBF title remains in contention for a 2024 matchup. 
Meanwhile, the anticipation grows as Lomachenko and Cambosos Jr. gear up for what promises to be an epic showdown in Australia. The inclusion of the WBO title adds an additional layer of excitement to the mix. What implications does this hold for the lightweight division? Gervonta Davis stands among the select few high-profile fighters currently generating significant attention and comments. With the unfolding drama, it's evident that the boxing world is eagerly anticipating the next major development. Will Davis rise to the challenge, or will he persist in maintaining a calm demeanor? As for Haney, is a destined face-off with Davis in the cards, or will other potential matchups steal the spotlight? One thing remains evident. The buzz surrounding these fighters shows no signs of diminishing anytime soon. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.